Teachers are used to answering questions, but rarely questions about themselves. In 2018, we asked teachers worldwide some questions. Actually, we asked them many questions. We asked teachers about their school environment, the teaching techniques they use in the classroom, the training they undertake, who their students are, how they work with their colleagues, their views on education policy, anything and everything to understand the working life of teachers. So what did they say? Two out of three teachers said that teaching was their first choice career, and about 90% said that the chance to influence children's development and contribute to society were two of their major reasons for becoming a teacher. Almost all teachers, 96% of them, agreed that teachers and students get along well with each other, which is an improvement over the last 10 years in many of the countries we looked at. But teachers also said that they spend on average more than 20% of their time during a typical lesson keeping order or doing classroom admin. That's actually an increase from what they told us five years ago, which means they're now spending less time on actual teaching and learning. Nine out of 10 teachers told us that they participated in some kind of professional development in the last year or so. And 82% of teachers said that their training had a positive impact on their teaching. But the makeup of classrooms is changing and teachers stress that they need further training for teaching in multicultural and multilingual settings and teaching students with special needs. Teachers told us how they see the future of teaching. Nearly 80% said that their colleagues strive to develop new ideas and help each other road test new approaches, and also that they're using more information technologies for teaching than in previous years. But only around half of teachers said that the use of these technologies was actually included in their initial training. And developing advanced ICT skills is one of the key areas that teachers say they still need more training in. So, how can we find out about the teaching profession? Why not start by asking the teachers themselves?